the Radio Garage, we're back on the bench. Got a new Tonex 3300 HP. This is from the new batch that came in. Uh, just going to do a video on one of these here to show how this new batch is working and performing. And uh, so this is the box. They're still, they're coming, you know, same looking box. They're coming with these uh, mics, the Ranger SRA 198 mics. Some people aren't sure about that. And uh, let's see here. Here's the serial number. So it is a uh, 21, and that is what I can see 12. So 1221. So these are from December. So they've been sitting somewhere for a few months, but uh, yeah, they're finally in. And the general leads are in. So I got to do a, a video on one of the the leads from the new batch. Should come out the same, same board, but. Uh, Yep, let's check this thing out, see how it's performing. We'll check it on the Spectrum Analyzer uh, before and after. And uh, this one here is actually getting the Bulletproof upgrade package, so we'll show that. And, uh, and that's pretty much going to be it. So stay tuned and get ready. We'll get into it. So here's the inside of her. Just got done uh, bulletproofing her, and we got your. Uh, let me just go over this here now. Got your caps upgraded. Main DC, 8 volt regulator, power wires, ferrite chokes. Your antenna wire. It's now a piece of stranded Teflon, and your SO239 is uh, locked tight. It now this new batch, they're still not tightening these all the way. So even if uh, even if you do if you do not get the bulletproof package from me, I always give that give that a tighten. Uh, what else here? So we did your audio upgrades. We um, did your AM regulator right here. All right, you can see that. So that's upgraded along with your other uh, modulation transistor back here and pulled all these off regreased these now this one here was cracked so I replaced that when you had one cracked insulator from the factory so that was good we checked these pulled these all off regreased them so there's a fresh heat sink compound uh, I don't know what the heck kind of compound they use but like the stuff's already dried out before the radio is even used so kind of junky stuff this one here uh, is actually loaded with, with compound so I actually pulled that off and uh, cleaned that up put the right amount on and same thing with the 8 volt regulator so uh, we are looking good there's some of the parts that came out of it so yeah I'm just gonna get this thing buttoned up and go over the results and actually uh, no actually I have to what I want to do is I want to show it on the uh, spectrum analyzer before I do anything so let me get it hooked up I'm gonna show it on that all right so we got it hooked up to the spectrum analyzer all I did uh, since the last clip there I just secured the echo board now so that's in there so it's not flopping around or touching anything while the radio is on and uh, we're gonna come over here and we're at 5 megahertz span 27205 right there okay and we're going to check it out so we got a bunch of crap coming up okay so got about a 40 uh, dBm carrier there this stuff's about uh, it's still below zero but I would like to think we can get rid of that all right here's 15 see what it looks like just kind of look at all that crap now look at all that you're gonna see all that go away and that's what takes a while to do these again crap check 60 okay so I'm go out to 150 just for the heck of it yeah all right so yeah I mean between uh, getting these things clean on the spectrum analyzer and doing the bulletproof upgrade package you know you're talking a few hours of work at least uh, always so that's why sometimes uh, I do get a little bit behind 
because I, I like getting these things the best they can be. And I do get a lot of people too that also ask, you know, is the bulletproof on? Hey, I'm ordering a new radio or I'm sending a radio in. Is the bulletproof package uh, necessary? No, no, not necessary. You definitely just get a tune-up and alignment done. And uh, it, it's really just for folks that want to ensure they have the uh, best durable, you know, it's, it's for durability and reliability. So if, if you have any concerns and you and you want to have the confidence of having the most durable setup, reliable setup, that's what it's for. Covers a lot of maintenance, uh, QC type issues, so stuff like that. I mean, all, all the new radios get QC'd anyways, but uh, this is just a little bit above and beyond. All right, but I'm going to get this thing aligned and show you the results. All right, we're done with the spectrum analyzer. Let's check out the after results here. So uh, we're still on high power. We're going to have about the same DBM there. Uh, reference. I don't think we really lost much power cleaning it up, which is uh, what's nice about this, as you can tell. All right, so 27205 span, 5 megahertz. There we go. So now we got a little bit of crap down here. It's all uh, negative 10 down. Still 39 and a half dBm reference. That's these were are totally pretty much gone now. 15. Uh, I went to 150. Well, there's 150. So you have nothing on the sides anymore. You just have your second. Yeah, I put too many zeros there. But uh, let's take it to 15. That's what I meant to do. So now you have absolutely nothing on the sides. Everything's totally gone. 30. Super clean. Nothing there. All right, and then you get our 60. So, tremendous cleanup. And the thing is, uh, it looked great on the scope. So you could have a great signal on the scope but still be extremely dirty with your spurious emissions. The scope is going to show your audio, but this here is actually showing your, your RF. It's reading the RF and checking for spurious emissions. And... Uh, the scope just isn't going to show that. So the scope will show distortion in your audio. All right. So you got to have clean. You want to have it clean both ways. Got her hooked up to the receive. Here it is. Negative 110 at uh, 12 dB sign add. So nice. Check out S9. Take it to uh, negative 73. That lined up and looks a little off because I'm not dead on with the there we go now I got it lined up because the radio wasn't straight on all right let me pull that out Whoops. I'll dial this down let you see where uh, you could hear it how far down Sorry, now I can turn this back up So, take it to like uh, 128. Let's just see if it's in there at all. Not really. Let's, uh, let's go 125. Yeah, I can hear it now coming up. Definitely, definitely not a bad receiver on this uh, thing. New batch, new batch Connexes. So the so far I'm liking this new batch. Everything's looking good, and uh, I'm just gonna get this thing wrapped up. Yeah, all right. Got her set up for transmit here, and uh, I just forgot to mention too about that receive test. The uh, modulation there was just set at 30%. So keep that in mind. I didn't bump it up to 100 or anything like that when I went way down low. All right, uh, 50 watt slug here on the left. He is not running an amplifier or nothing like that. So he's got the dead key uh, higher than what you would see when I set them up for amps. 
And let's just see here what the low and the high power is set at. High we got looks like real real close to nine watts on the bird and about a little over eight on the LP. Here's low. About three and a half. Three on the LP, three and a half on the bird. Okay. And then uh, just check out the power, peak power. Hello audio. One, two, three, four, five, 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 five. Okay, about 60 watts peak. And average. About 12 average, so awesome numbers. There's the low, and I did forget to put in my uh, batteries for the peak kit. The peak kit's dead right now. But check the low out, low power, hello. One, two, three, four, five, 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 one, two, three, four, five. So it's really hanging about 25 or 30, but uh, it's catching the peaks and it's, it's making it show the same as high power. But when I talk on low, like sometimes these LPs are a little bit hard to read, but Watch where the meter stays when I talk on low. It stays right around down here for the most part. And then when I talk on high, this is on high now. One, two, three, four, five, five, five. One, two, three, four, five, five, five. It keeps banging off that 60, so. Um, I know it's a little bit trickier than reading the bird, but uh, all right. So that's that on transmit. Now let's see what this thing sounds like over the air. And I actually have the Ranger on today because the George is giving me a little bit of trouble. I have to take a look at that. So let me get the channel on here, 25. Oh, actually, you know what? I actually forgot to uh, show it on the scope here. Let me go back to 20. And let me get this plugged in. And turn my audio on. Okay, so there she is, and if I do it, that's blowing up right now. See, if I do it like that, it, it almost looks like sometimes uh, if I have if I have the voltage down a little bit, let me try to get this to steady up a little better. Uh, ah, dang it, doesn't want to steady for me here. All right, hold on here, guy, right there. So sometimes it it's hard to see that that negative um, peak. So it almost looks like it may be pinched, but then when I blow it up, you know, you could see a lot better there now. So everything's looking good there. All right. Now I can get my microphone. Real, real pretty, real, real pretty audio waveform on these. All right. Let's see what this puppy sounds like over the air. 25. I think you're going to be happy. Volume, make sure my volume's up here. One, two. Yeah, turn my volume up more. One, one, two. One, two, three, four, five. Hello. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah. So that's with the echo on. Turn the echo off. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah. Hello, radio. Hello, hello, radio. One, two, three, four, and five. Back with the echo again. One, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, 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 two, one, two, yep. Nice loud audio. All right. That should do it. Appreciate everybody tuning in. This is uh, a new batch Connex 3300, so she's all done. Got another one to do just like this, except it's gonna have the MB1 in it. And uh, that's already ordered, and I got a General Lee. I'll do a new, uh, a new batch of General Lees that came in, so I'll do a video on one of those. And and I'll be caught up with the new uh, radios. We'll get back doing to uh, the repair stuff. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Radio Garage, we're off the key.